What is a glitch in the matrix? A glitch in the matrix is an explanation for an unlikely or irregular occurrence. The origin of this refers to the 1999 movie, The Matrix, where reality is a simulation, and when you experience deja vu, it's caused by the altering of the matrix around you. A glitch, on the other hand, is typically a sudden, usually temporary malfunction. So a glitch in the matrix is when you see or encounter something weird and out of place. These glitches come from, but are not limited to, lighting illusions, out of place objects, duplications, implausible looking scenarios, and broken textures. Long story short, when something really weird or irregular is noticed, we call this a glitch in the matrix. So like the video, subscribe now, and let's get right into some glitches in the matrix. How about a cloud over a mountain that refuses to leave its placement? Or streaming water? Waves of water mysteriously disappearing into black sand. Sometimes, humans react identically in every motion. Don't even get me started about sports. Golfers carrying the same momentum. Sometimes, these are so strange you have to ask if the footage is being played backwards. What about finding a near identical copy of yourself at a wedding? Have you ever seen a bird hovering in place? It's not a bug, it's a feature. What about a plane? Or two? Sometimes, physics seem to be off. Other times, textures don't seem to load properly. Sometimes cars fall through the geometry of the world. And sometimes the incorrect art style loads in. Actually, a lot of art seems to come in a little weird. Don't get me started on clouds. We've got 90 degree angles. Squares completely missing. Cloud shaped like a cube. And yes, even spherical clouds. Sometimes humans float. And other times boats float. Even trees float from time to time. Clusters of humans programmed to take the shortest route, only to find it's blocked. Occasionally, you'll get a person who seemingly wasn't there before, just appear. And this isn't a one-off kind of thing. It happens more than you think. Is it just an optical illusion, or something else? Sometimes, a glitch in the matrix is a blink-and-you-miss-it moment. My favorite glitches in the matrix are those that line up with the idea that we live in a simulation. That programming and artificial intelligence can only create so many possible outcomes. Eventually, patterns are discovered, and it's hard to stop noticing them once you've seen them. Like these similar chickens doing similar things. Or characters in a sports game repeating the same motions at the same time. Some glitches entertain. Others you can't explain. Some glitches baffle the brain.
Some make you feel like you're going insane. Some glitches can be explained by synced frame rates. And others explained by skilled professionals. Oftentimes music can sync up and cause a weird effect. Some glitches make you scratch your head. Not once, but twice. Sometimes physics get thrown completely out the window. A glitch in the matrix isn't simply photos, videos, and GIFs. It's a vast collection of fascinating stories and experiences people have lived through or seen with their own eyes. Think about it. Cameras have only been around for a good 100 plus years, meaning for 99% of humanity's existence, we never had the option to record these bizarre moments and visuals. Spoken word and eventually written word is all that we have. So for the next part of this video, I'm gonna read some glitches in the matrix that others have experienced, thought about, or witnessed. Has anyone else lost an article of clothing and you not realize that it's been missing until you look at photos from a year or two ago? It's the weirdest thing. I was going through my photos and deleting some pictures for the sake of space and every so often I'll come across a picture of me wearing some random shirt I used to love and I'd think, I love that shirt, what happened to it? So this got me thinking, where did all those pieces of clothing go? I don't remember throwing them away or donating them. I live alone so no one else could have taken them as far as I know. And it's impossible that I left them somewhere in public and forgot to take them home, so where did all that clothing go? I can't be the only one to have noticed this, right? I died last night, but I'm still here. So this happened last week, and I'm still coming to terms with it. I got a phone call from my next door neighbor, asking if I could help him move a mattress upstairs. His mom is ill, and they have a big heavy sleep number bed. I of course ran over there to help, because they're great neighbors. I get over there and his friend who is a priest was there to help as well. We worked together to figure out how to separate the mattress from the bed so we could fit it upstairs. We eventually get it all moved upstairs, when my neighbor asked if I could help them move a heavy dresser as well. I think nothing of it and we pull it out of his travel trailer and start bringing it up the front stairs of the house. This is where I died. The front stairs are 11 steps. I was on the lower end of the heavy dresser, about 6 steps up when my neighbor and his friend lost a handle on the heavy dresser and it came crashing down on me, and I fell backwards towards the pavement. I then wake up in my dining room to my phone ringing and my wife asking me if I'm going to answer the phone. On the phone, it's my neighbor asking if I can come over and help move a bed upstairs for his ill mom. Confused, I go over there and meet his priest friend, again. As this is apparently the first time I've met him, I said, I can help you with the bed, but I can't help you with that dresser. My neighbor said, how'd you know about the dresser? So I explained it all and told them I'm pretty sure I died. After moving the mattress, I spent the next hour talking with the priest. He had so many questions. My neighbor didn't believe it until I described the upstairs bedroom in perfect detail, down to the metal mattress frame on the floor and the intricate headboard leaning against the wall. I had never been upstairs in their house before, except, well, that time that I died. The priest asked me what it was like. What did I see after I died? And I told him I never actually died. It happened, and I woke up in my dining room. Side note, this story sounds a lot like quantum immortality. That's the concept that refers to the subjective experience of surviving quantum suicide. In simple to understand terms, this means that you never actually die. When you get killed or you die in this world, your consciousness moves on to another timeline where you didn't die. It's a super weird and fascinating concept, and I actually already talked about it and explained it in this video. So once the video's over, go watch this video if you haven't already. It'll blow your mind. My partner just glitched, and it's freaking us out. So this evening, my partner, 42 male, and I, 30 female, were upstairs sorting laundry, when his daughter, 17, called us downstairs as dinner was ready. I was heading down the stairs with my partner right behind me, literally two steps behind me. He did his usual thing of tickling the back of my neck as we walked. The bottom of our stairs is wooden, so you can hear when somebody steps onto it from the carpeted stairs. When we got to the bottom, my feet hit the floor as usual. I turned around to ask him something, and he wasn't there. He just wasn't there. I totally froze up for a second and looked up the stairs, and there he was, on the top step, pale and shaking. 
I asked him, what just happened? And he just kept saying, I don't know, I don't know. I was behind you, and before I hit the bottom, the next step I took took me back to the top of the stairs. The point of this video isn't to say that these events can't be explained. The point is to increase your perception, so you too can begin to recognize the weird things that happen all around us every single day. What you do with this information is up to you. Do you laugh it off? Do you assume it's all just visual effects and coincidences? Or does it make you want to look more into stranger topics outside the Overton window? As long as you're thinking, I'm happy. That's all I could ever ask for. So a glitch in the matrix, what do you think? Are these just strange, unlikely, or irregular occurrences, or something else? Leave a comment below telling me about the glitches you've seen in your life and what you thought about the examples I've shown today. This is obviously a super weird topic, but it always leads to entertaining conversations. At least I think so. If you'd like to watch more weird videos like this, go subscribe to my second channel, All Time 2. Glitches in the Matrix are strange visual anomalies that can make you feel a little confused. Some even believe these strange glitches in reality are evidence that this is all a simulation. So let's look at some fun glitches in the Matrix. Like this poorly aligned zebra. Or this apple without smoothing. A grandma for every seat, and a cat for every bench. Or these trees that forgot to fully appear. The same thing with these clouds. Or how about this terribly unsettling natural occurrence? Sometimes you see things that make you question everything. I mean, what are the odds? When it's raining and pouring, but it's only on you. Then imagine if your umbrella decided to walk away. Or if one day the orange juice forgot to load in. Sure, we all watch TV, but how often does TV watch you? Or how about this island that's in a lake, in a volcano that's in a lake, that's in an island, in the ocean? You wanted more glitches in the matrix? Here we go. Glitches in the matrix are strange visual anomalies that make you scratch your head. Did I really just see that? Did that actually happen? Sometimes it makes you stop and double take. There are numerous examples out there of glitches and just as many theories and explanations trying to make it all make sense. Some say these glitches are examples of how this is all a simulation while others shout that everything is fake and Photoshop. There are a thousand other rationales between the two. So wherever you fall in that spectrum, let's sit back and enjoy the ride, because that's why we're all watching this, right? To have a good time. So let's get right into A Glitch in the Matrix 2. Let's start off with a really strange glitch. Here is a river that has a constant and steady flow, but when the person filming starts driving, it looks as if the river has completely stopped moving. Here is a ladder that's fed up with its job and has decided to quit. Have you ever seen a professional athlete phase in and out of reality? Let's see that again. Check out this building that's seemingly floating in midair. Or this building that seems to be missing a sight or two. Look at this strange shadow distortion glitch. Whenever this guy moves away from the frame, his face's shadow is elongated and stretched out. Here's a really strange one. This is a comb placed against a mirror. Notice how the comb's teeth have a gap in them, but in the mirror, there is no gap. It just doesn't exist. What are the odds that every cop car light would be synchronized? Watch closely. Here are two deer. And now there's three. Where did the third deer come from? Look at this incredible apple. Two different colors, perfectly split. And here's another split in half glitch. This time with some toast. A perfect line dividing the burnt and the unburnt. Where did this car come from? There are two angles in this video. One from the front dash cam, and one from the car's side looking back neither capture this magically appearing car. So where did it come from? Check out this floor and these shoes. The floor pattern nearly matches the shoes, creating an interesting optical illusion. 
Shoes disappearing into the floor is one thing, but what about socks? This man's socks perfectly match the floor beneath him. This next one is really spooky. Look at this fog layer that's just floating in midair, unmoving, like a PNG file in a video game. Speaking of unsettling, This tiny bubble decided it wasn't going to follow the laws of physics today. It's just floating there, unmoving. Look at how strange these wind turbines look during a long exposure photograph. To me, it gives off a strong Truman Show painted background aesthetic. How about this one? It's awfully strange how some buildings forget to load in all the way. What happened here? Sometimes it loads in too many of the same art assets. Here are two nearly identical grandpas walking around the same area. Here is one of many places on the earth where your car will roll backwards, uphill, when placed in neutral. The how is this happening and why is this happening has been speculated about for decades. Have you ever seen one of those clips of a plane not moving in air, just sitting there, hanging out, seemingly defying gravity? If not, here's a clip of a plane doing just that. Oh, but it's not just planes. Birds can also get stuck in this apparent glitch. This mysterious thing was found floating and morphing over Australia. What started as confusion online quickly turned into everyone saying it was a scud cloud. A naturally occurring thing, nothing weird about it at all. Nothing to see here. Except scud clouds look nothing like this. They look completely different. So, what do you think this is? When did this basketball player pass the ball? He has the ball in one frame, and then in the next, the ball is in the hands of another player. Look at this ridiculously massive trillion ton iceberg, perfectly broken into the shape of a rectangle. This next glitch has to do with a broken Nutella plate. Just watch. Okay, so I just broke this plate and I was making sure I had all the pieces and I found this. The hell? I, I have no more of these plates. This is, I have only one. Like, what? Up next is a strange collection of glitches, all related to invisibility or semi-transparency. Let's start small with this filing cabinet. Look at it, it's almost transparent. Here's a stroller that's seemingly moving on its own. Or is that a person pushing the stroller wearing clothing that makes them look nearly invisible? Absolutely perfect camouflage. Next up is this building. What an incredible photograph. What is even happening here? Finally, we have the scariest one of all. A couple was relaxing at the pool and took a photo only to later discover that the girlfriend was seemingly transparent in the photo. Pause and look at the details here. You can see right through her head. What in the simulation is this? Next up we have fish in an aquarium that have seemingly forgotten to animate. No swimming, no movement, just frozen in place. This next clip is incredible. A man kicks a cabinet door and it falls off its hinges. But now there are two doors on the ground, instead of one. Even in slow motion, this doesn't make any sense. Where did that second door come from? It just doesn't add up. The door that he kicked off has two hinges on one side and a handle on the other. So there's literally no room for another door to just appear. What do you think about this one? Up next is one of my favorite glitches ever. This woman is working in a restaurant and cuts a lemon in half. Then she cuts it again. She walks away to grab a bag. comes back only to realize that her lemon isn't cut in half anymore. I'll let her explain. So I, I'm like inspecting it, I take it out of the bag, I grab this lemon trying to see if I cut that one, I recut the lemon because the lemon wasn't cut anymore. Ugh, I'm freaking out because the lemon was not cut in half anymore. It was literally intact. And you can see me in the video cut the lemon in half. There was a glitch. There was, this has never happened to me and I'm, I don't know how to act. I'm freaking out. Then, get this, her TikTok blows up, even articles are written about it, and then TikTok deletes that video and bans her account. TikTok says she's under 13, she appeals because she's obviously older than 13, and it gets rejected. Then it asks for her ID, so she submits her ID twice, and TikTok just scrubbed it all from the internet. Kinda weird, right? 
Eventually, she's able to get back onto the platform by using her mom's phone, but she's unable to create an account anymore with any of her emails, her phone number, anything like that. Now here's the thing, if you've been on TikTok for long enough, you know what's allowed and what isn't allowed. And there is nothing questionable about her video. There's nothing worth banning, nothing worth hiding, nothing worth suppressing. It's just so strange. Here's what she had to say. Yeah, that's me. Anyways, um, I had to remake my account, okay? They banned my account. They banned my whole account. I tried opening my TikTok and this is what I opened to. And I send an appeal, right? Send my ID and look. I did this twice, twice, and they denied me both times. I don't understand why, why? Like why TikTok? Not, what, was the, what was the real reason, okay? What was the real reason you deleted? Like, isn't that a little sus? Isn't that a little sus? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I had to make this account on my mom's phone because it wouldn't even like, it wouldn't let me l create an account with anything. Not my Gmail, not another Gmail, not my phone number, not my Apple ID, like anything that pointed towards me, I couldn't make it like it did not let me it's so interesting to me personally because of all the things that i've talked about on my channel from the mandela effect to the simulation theory deja vu time travel ghosts aliens etc glitches are the only videos that get demonetized or taken down come to think of it my glitch video was suppressed and demonetized under the excuse of harmful and dangerous acts which it didn't contain any of whatsoever go watch it for yourself and find out now, we all love a good conspiracy, obviously. Humans love finding patterns and connecting the dots because it's kept us alive this long. Oh, these berries are good. They help with inflammation. Oh, these berries are bad. They're poisonous and you'll get sick. Connecting the dots and details like that, it's in our DNA, sometimes to our advantage and sometimes to our detriment. So maybe I'm seeing patterns that aren't really there, but I think it's interesting nonetheless. And just in case, be sure to subscribe to all three of my channels, All Time, All Time 2, and All Time Clips as well as check out my Patreon for exclusive videos, articles, behind the scenes content, and early access to every single video I make. All links are in the description, go check them out. Up next we have literal green lines in the sky. Look at this video. This happened back in January 2023 over Hawaii. Literal green matrix code looking lasers cascading across the sky, coming from above, not below. Originally it was reported that it was NASA satellites, but then NASA came out and said, no it wasn't. Then people speculated that it was Chinese satellites, but China came out and said, no it wasn't. So what are these lines? Some crazy unexplainable phenomenon? Something we can't quite figure out? People in airplanes playing with lasers? Or perhaps it was quite literally a glitch in the matrix. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. This next video is so cool. It is a massive building at the very end of the street that gets smaller the closer you get to it. Check it out. Be sure to look at the building right at the end of the street and watch the transformation. It is so trippy. The last glitch today is possibly my favorite glitch so far. It's in regards to a mysterious bag that was upstairs somehow coming downstairs and being placed behind a closed and locked front door overnight where no one was staying and get this a ring camera captured all of this and what makes it even more unsettling is that this home is now empty because the woman who lived here recently passed away this video toes the line between a glitch in the matrix style video and a ghost video let's watch and listen to all the details so you can decide for yourself what really happened so this is the first step here's how i'm leaving my house this is where i have to um, and she doesn't come back until the next morning, so there's nothing on the floor, there's nothing in sight, specifically at the door, there's nothing left there, so my mum leaves, doesn't come back, and nobody else comes in the house. This is in the next morning, my mum is so confused because there's a gift bag left at the door. Nobody has had access to this house. I wanted to pause right here and talk about how authentic that confusion is. Watch your mother's reaction to everything that's going on. If you've ever encountered something spooky like this or some kind of strange glitch, it really does break your brain in a way that is completely visible to the camera. It's like a stunned disbelief. That disbelief, it's typically really hard to fake that. If someone's terrified, you can feel it. If someone's scared, you can feel it. And if somebody's faking it, you can usually tell. The ring camera didn't pick up any motion in between my mom leaving and my mom arriving back with any person detected. So this is what um, was left at the door. She's so confused. She says she remembers leaving that bag upstairs. There's a pair of slippers in it. Um, and I'll show you what the bag said, like what the gift bag actually said. 
So it says on it a little something just for you, which is like so strange because gift bags usually say like happy birthday or merry christmas or things like that but the fact it says this is so weird but the next clip is where it gets even weirder wow a little something just for you incredible and now the biggest shock of the video so like i said there's been no motion of a person detected in the house it's literally just been mum leaving and mum coming back but the ring camera like records through the night or just constantly um so i'll show you the next clip this video is not edited watch right here i'm just gonna show it again I just don't understand how a bag can just appear literally out of thin air. Like even if the ring camera is recording in frames, like not continuously recording, how did that bag disappear? And if it like fell or fell down the stairs somehow, or how is it landing up the way? She's absolutely correct. If there was movement, as if the bag fell down the stairs, or if someone was in the house and placed it there, the ring would have captured it. I know this because my ring camera tells me every time a leaf falls. It is the most obnoxious thing in the world. But I keep it around and it has proven its worth because one time it caught two sketchy people trying to break into my place. If I hadn't caught them with the ring, they would have taken everything. Anyway, what'd you think of this glitch and which glitch was your favorite from today's video? Please let me know in the comments and until next time, never stop searching. Glitches in the matrix are weird visual anomalies that lead some to believe this is all a simulation. So is it simply random luck? Coincidence? Edited? Or perhaps something more? Let's check them out. This cat. Wait, now there's two? This water bottle fell out, then seemingly changed its mind. Or these bubbles in this person's drink. Is it trying to tell us something? Check out this perfectly natural cloud. Nothing strange about it at all. Same with these copy and pasted clouds. This dog is missing something. Some say it's a diaper. What about you? How about these three identical girls in piano class? What are the odds? Or everyone's favorite, raining but only in one place. Here's the moon, but it's in front of the tree? Something's off with this shadow. These projectiles bounce on water. Something strange is happening with these skiers. Where did they go? Today we're checking out some glitches in the matrix. If you didn't already know, glitches in the matrix are strange visual anomalies that can make you feel a little confused. Some even believe that these strange glitches in reality are evidence that this is all a simulation, but I'll leave that decision up to you. So be sure to like the video, subscribe to all time, and let's get into some glitches in the matrix. To kick off today's video, our first glitch is about a man finding his seemingly lost ring, only to realize he's still wearing that lost ring. I just found this ring in a box. I'm like, oh, my ring fell off. No, it didn't. It's the same. Your hands are I'm shaking. <laughs> it's so weird. What about this reflection that seems slightly off? Or the classic glitch of a plane being stuck in air, unmoving. There are three new examples to confuse and amuse you. This is one of those glitches that never gets old. It always boggles the mind. Sometimes it feels like people have been copy and pasted. Another example are these three identical people all doing the same thing. What about this spill? Water fell onto a sheet and created this unusual block pattern. Here's a personal favorite of mine. This guy spins around and his arm seemingly goes through the bar. What in the world? Check out this van and this disappearing man. Here's a weird glitch of a baseball player disappearing behind a sign while standing in front of it. I'm gonna let this woman do the talking, but long story short, check out this beanie and how it changes color depending on its light source. 
So just a reminder, this is what the hat looks like in my dining room under artificial lighting. It's like 2 in the morning, so yeah, I look busted. Okay, so if you take it from the dining room to my bedroom, this is what it looked like in the store. This is why I bought it. It's green. I'm gonna take you outside. Lifetime note filters. Why did it look green in the store? Obviously, that video got a ton of attention in real life and online, so she needed to test it even more. Watch this and let me know what you think. What color does it look like? Okay, it looks brown. Okay. Rusty brown. What color does it look like? Still brown, like a light brown. Okay, you ready? Walk backwards because people are not believing. Yeah. They're gonna say I like edited. Or we could walk back. <laughs> what would make it look like not edited? Like moving it a lot or something? Yeah, I know. Just like. Okay. Brown hat. Brown hat. <laughs> no. Uh, what backwards? There it is. No, it's green. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Why are you changing the neon light? Yeah. Oh. It's so crazy. This next video is phenomenal. It's about a broken glass and its inability to be put back together. Check this out. Okay, so riddle me this. This cup broke in the dishwasher. This is the shard we found, exhibit A. <laughs> and the way that it is, no, put it in. <laughs> it's rounded, so it's supposed to go like that with the lip of the cup on top. And that's the way that it would fit, but that's the inverted part. How do you make it fit in the cup? It's doesn't, it doesn't fit. We're going viral, baby. <laughs> the question is, does broken glass invert in the dishwasher? <laughs> Thank you, and someone help. Have you ever seen a person's shadow, but no person? Well, if you haven't, you're about to. Yo, who left their shadow, bro? Like, nobody's here, like, it's, nobody's here. Who left their shadow? Come get it, it's at Planet Fitness. If you want your shadow back, it's right there. Hold on, clear. It's like you can't see, bro. Oh, there it is. Look at these floating trash cans. Or this flower petal that refuses to land. Or how about this light beam in the shower? It seems a little pixelated. Or these two buildings and the illusion they create. Which one is in front? What is this strange cloud captured over Cape Town? Here is snowfall captured in a mirror's reflection. While outside, it's as calm as can be. This next glitch is beyond disturbing, and even I'm struggling to explain it. This is a live photo on an iPhone being replayed in the Photos app. Okay, so the weird part is that the angle seemingly changes midway through to a different phone, and then comes back to the phone that was actually recording the photo. The angle seemingly changes midway through. Now, that video didn't blow up. It never went viral, and only a few hundred people saw it. It certainly didn't succeed in getting any attention. Regardless, she got criticism, and this was her response. 
Hello, so I have noticed all the comments talking about like, oh, we edited the live photo and everything else, but we were genu genuinely confused by it because how does her phone take a photo of her taking a photo? So that's why we just posted it. It's nothing for views or anything like that. We're just confused and was looking for some answers. So if you all have any ideas, please list them below, but... Yeah, we're just genuinely confused by it. Is this woman playing tennis by herself? Yes, I know that I am high right now, but look at this lady. She is hitting a tennis ball against absolutely no <laughs> surface, and it's just bouncing back to her. Like, look at it. <laughs> How is it doing that? Have you ever encountered too many of the same thing? That's exactly what happened here. That's nuts. I don't like that. I feel f freaked Dude. out, mother. Oh, oh my, my god! god. This part of the sidewalk refuses to get wet. Wait, did someone turn off the snowstorm? It's as if the weather changed instantly. Here is a massive crowd all witnessing the sky splitting in half. What in the world? Everybody knows something's up. Everybody knows. That is not normal. Everyone is looking up, wondering why the sky is split. Look, the sky is broken. And everybody knows something's fishy, don't you? It's fishy, ain't it? <laughs> you know, that's the first time I ever seen this. That's right. It's fishy. Check out this fence and its interlocking ice layer. I guess the collision is off a little bit. Look at this incredible photo. It's as if the sky is the ocean. It feels like two different images merged into one, but it was actually just one photo taken on a highway in Minnesota. What an absolutely stunning sight. This looks like a normal restroom mirror until... Wait, what? Up next is another live photo where a man just... appears. Where does he come from? Last, but certainly not least, is a woman on TikTok falling down a glitch in the matrix well of disturbing information. She seems to have noticed a pretty weird occurrence that seems more common than it should be. It's about people finding random human teeth. I, I know, weird, just listen. Guys, I stumbled across something really strange on TikTok last night, and I don't know what to do with this information. So this lady posted this video about like a glitch in the matrix thing where like her towel disappeared, right? But that's not the weird thing. I once found two human molar teeth in the washing machine. It freaked me out. I have no idea where they came from. So I read that, that sparks my interest. I'm like, what the fuck? But wait, I found one on my living room floor about 20 years ago, I lived alone. Okay, weird. That's a weird coincidence, you know, that both of these people found a human tooth. Okay, now that's weird because I found one in my dining area on the floor, lived here for five years and I don't know where it came from. What? I found it in my front garden a few years ago. Okay, you know, like that could be like an animal tooth or something. But this person found one in their kitchen sink, a human molar, and it just keeps going. I thought I was crazy. I found one under my bed when I moved. One human molar, adult, laying plain as day. I found a gold tooth in my basement. It just keeps getting weirder. I just found a tooth sitting on my parents' table the other day and we have no idea where it came from. I found a tooth in my coat pocket. What is with this? What is what? Randomly finding human teeth? That should be an extremely rare occurrence. I think we can all agree on that, right? So then naturally I searched people finding human teeth, right? And you, you, you. So I found a tooth. You found a tooth? Yeah. I... Where did you find the tooth? In the bathroom rug. Sure, we all have baby teeth that fall out, but our adult teeth are one and done. If you lose it, it's gone. So how common is finding random human teeth? Let's continue. Why are all these people finding human teeth? What do I do with this information? Like, this is crazy, right? That's crazy? After posting that TikTok, she began to get even more comments from people claiming to have found random human teeth update on this whole people finding human teeth mystery. I've gotten hundreds of comments like this with people telling stories of finding human teeth. I'm just gonna read a few of the comments and then we'll go over the theories. Found one in my shoe and my gym bag. Found one on my kitchen floor. 
We had been in that apartment for three years. There's no way it could have just been there from the previous people. I was helping my neighbor clean their attic and we found three human teeth. My mom found child molars in ground beef. I found one in a pizza roll while I was pregnant. Yeah, I wouldn't eat pizza rolls anymore either. Ground beef? Pizza rolls? Okay. No. How does that even happen? Absolutely horrifying. The idea of a tooth just randomly appearing is disturbing enough, especially in your home or your bathroom rug, but in your food? Like a human tooth, an adult human tooth? I have so many questions. And we found a tooth on the floor once. My husband tried saying it was the dogs, it was human. That was probably the biggest theory that people brought up, that these are all dog teeth, which like some of them I'm sure are, but a lot of the locations just don't make sense for a dog. A few months ago, I found molars in an envelope in my garage. I've lived here for 10 years. Seriously found a molar the other day. It looked really old. It was in a blanket. I found one on my dresser a few years ago, and I have a camera in my room for my cat. Didn't pick anything up. I found one on my living room floor. I found a human molar in a large Rubbermaid container of Legos from the 90s. Cleaned a coin counting machine. Found three teeth in the debris tray. I found one in my living room a few years ago. I found one behind a door handle I removed because the handle was broken. I found one on my bathroom floor after living there for two plus years. I found one in my friend's truck. He had no idea where it came from. I believe him because I drove it for that entire week and it wasn't there. I found one in my old house in the hallway against the wall. My grandpa had a nightmare that all his teeth were being pulled out and found a small wooden box full of teeth in his living room the next morning. I found a random tooth on my dresser. I work with bones, so I thought it was one of my fakes. Nope, it was real. I found a human molar in a box of Legos that my son bought at a yard sale. Me and my friend found human teeth in our cafeteria food. I found a tooth when I was a kid on a stair, no one knew who it belonged to. Found one in the creek. Oh my god, I can't believe other people have experienced this. About five years ago, I found two adult molars about a week apart in our house. Last month, I was cleaning out my car and I found a top denture, like the whole row of teeth. Found a child's tooth in my pocket this year, I don't have kids. Core memory of me finding a molar in the pocket of a jacket I got for school in approximately 1983. I don't remember it being there when I tried it on. Like I said, there are hundreds of comments like this. So the other theories that people brought up were that they could have just been like filling caps that might have fallen off and people didn't notice or it just left them around. But I've had a cap fall off and you definitely notice. And they're also really expensive, so I feel like people wouldn't just be like leaving them around everywhere. But some of them, again, could totally be filling caps. I feel like a lot of people would know the difference um, because they feel different and they're like hollow. And then the other theory is just that everyone is lying. Um, and again, like, I'm sure some of these people are lying, but I just, I don't buy that all of these people are lying. And again, a lot of these locations just don't make sense for dog teeth. Like she said, it's totally possible that some of these people are randomly lying or making up stories just to be a part of the drama. But certainly not all of them. Even if you cut the accounts in half, you still have a lot of random teeth being found. So what do you think? Have you ever found a random human tooth before? If you have, let me hear it in the comments because that's so strange. Anyway, there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out all my other videos. I have so many covering a huge range of topics and plenty more on the way. Thank you for watching, and until next time, never stop searching.